Support types in DPEX software program. In DPEX, supports can be added graphically on the model area. To add the support in a specific stage, we can use the Draw Supports tool in the General tab of DPEX. Here we can choose to add a ground anchor, a strut, a slab, a raker, a fixed support, a spring, a weller support, and we can choose also to add a weller beam to any support. To add the ground anchor, we select the tool and then we click on the wall and next on the ground. In the dialog that appears, we can change the general properties like elevation, installation angle, the free and fixed lengths, the horizontal spacing. We can choose to add a specific value of pre-stress in this stage. And we can also change the structural section of the tieback. By pressing the edit button, the tieback anchor sections dialog appears where we can add as many sections as we wish and we can edit their properties like name, anchor type like strands, solid bars or micro piles and we can also define the strand section and the number of used strands. If we press OK, we can see that the support is added. With exactly the same way, we can add all kinds of support supporting a single wall, like rakers, fixed supports, springs, and weller supports. We simply click on the tool and next on the wall. In the dialog that appears, we change the general properties of the support. In case we have two opposite walls and we want to connect them with a strut, we click on this tool and select the Add Support button and we click on the two walls. In the dialog that appears, we can edit the elevation on the walls, the spacing and the strut section. By pressing the Edit button, we can choose to use eye sections, circular pipes or hollow sections. Finally, if we wish uh, to add a slab support, we select the same tool We click on the draw a slab button and we click on the two walls In the dialog that appears, we can edit the elevation on the walls the spacing and the slab section We can add as many slab sections as we wish on the list and we can manually edit the properties like width and number of rebars. In the slab supports dialog there are some additional options where we can include slab weight in vertical stress, define the end moment connection if it is 0 or 100%, choose to use user defined unbraced lengths, and add a life load on the slab. If we wish to delete the support, we simply take the mouse over the support and press the delete button from the keyboard. And we press yes in the dialog that appears and the support is erased. Finally, if we wish to deactivate the support after a specific stage, like in case of a temporary support, then we right click on the support and we choose to deactivate. In the same way, we can activate the support again. The supports are activated in the stage that we add them, so in the previous stages they appear deactivated. Thank you for watching this video. Visit our website in order to find more information about our software programs or feel free to contact us in order to learn about our special offers or to order a free online presentation.